go through the door on your right and then go all the way up the stairs until you get to the vent. Once you're here you want to open the vent and then put on your mask to actually get through it. Go all the way to the end and then there'll be a vent cover you can take off. Jump down and follow this path around until you get to the screen on the wall and then uh, hack into that and then you'll need to just uh, stand in the circles and that will hack into the system that is the head of security who comes along so if you have the opportunity to uh, kill him then do so Make sure you hide the body and then answer the radio and also then he's got a phone on him that you need to hack into. At this point any cameras or security guards that come along uh, just kill them. Um, obviously you've got uh, three radios until the alarm sounds, so just be aware of that. Hello? Yeah, and you can see this guard here has a blue keycard oh, on him, so it might be this guard in your version. Uh, but if not, then it's going to be a guard or a person with that blue keycard. Um, so you can also pickpocket the person as well by sneaking up behind them if you need to. And that blue key card is used on the door just to the right. Where there's going to be a security officer there. And then you're going to take them out. Yes, hello. This is not the security card. He's dead on the floor. I'm here with my crew to rob the place. No. Once the green bar has been filled up, then you're going to go back into the uh, master bedroom. We'll go into the master bedroom, and there's going to be a book. In my case, it was this book, but it might be many books. There's also books all on the sides, and then you're going to open the panel. Um, so that obviously that book triggers the panel to be released. And as you can see, there's fingerprints on the keypad for the code uh, that you need to open the door with. And I'm going to show you now how to actually get the actual code. So you're going to go downstairs. There's, po there's four possible codes when you get into the room. Um, so by looking at those fingerprints on the keypad, you can tell which of those uh, you know that you need to uh, you need to enter. So again, some guards here killed them. What's going on over there? Hello, Central. So how are you doing over there? Okay. Good. Fucking wankers. That sounds a bit off. But okay. You're going to use the QR code to actually get into here. Search the filing room for the key card. Then you need to find the red card. In my case, it was in this drawer here. Um, but it might be different in your version. Then immediately you just go into the uh, common room, or the meeting room where they all are. Grab uh, Mason. And as long as you have him hostage, held to the guards, they won't shoot at you or anything like that. I found this way to be easier. Um, and using that um, red card that you picked up, you're just going to move into this room here. And there's going to be a button you need to uh, press to activate the wall panel. Kill any guys that you need to as well along the way. At this point, the alarm's been triggered, so no more stealth mode for now. And then you're just going to shove him into that so you can scan his eye, and then that's gonna open the door. So feel free to grab the cash. There's also some uh, drugs behind you as well that you can take and some cash. These are the four um, codes to the door. And again, 
just make a note of those then you're gonna walk over back to the bedroom and again by analyzing the fingerprints on the keypad you can tell which code you need to enter so, in my case it was three two two eight point you're in the vault and now you need to unlock um, a, another vault or the, uh, the, the the safe I should say so crack that and then you're gonna obtain an SSD drive you're gonna go all the way back into the room before you do so you can grab this loot here and uh, throw it to your teammates um, if you're playing with some teammates or if you even if you're solo you can grab the loot and just chuck it onto the balcony there. So you just throw it out the window. And you can keep going back and forth, back and forth, depending on how much loot you want. In my case, I just uh, wanted to do this as quickly as possible. You're going to go back to the computer, plug in the SSD, so that it can start encrypting the drive. And again, whilst doing that, you can collect money, drugs, and then just dump them outside on that balcony bit, as you just saw previously. That's essentially where the helicopter is going to land at the end. Uh, so you can actually start um, getting the loot and making sure that you've uh, protected everything. Now it's all about uh, defending the SSD, so you just got to wait basically for it to decrypt. Uh, so you just constantly shooting people from now on really until that process finish. Tip for that on the computer. Now's your chance you can actually signal the helicopter, so just jump over the uh, balcony, the landing bit, go outside here, and then signal the flare. And then where you looted those bags, they'll appear on your left hand side, um, as you can see here. So I've got one bag that I threw, but obviously, you know, if you went back and looted everything, then um, those bags would be there also. Also, I found that if you're looting all of the bags, then uh, they can potentially come and take them away. Um, but by the time you're going back and forth from the room and throwing them over or out the window, uh, you can normally see them and shoot them as they're trying to sort of run away with the bag. So it's not it's not a big issue. Now it's about staying alive, killing the enemies around the helicopter, throwing in all your loot into the helicopter, and then you can get away. While you're throwing the loot into the helicopter to collect it, just make sure that you stand in the uh, rectangle zone and then aim upwards and throw it in, otherwise um, it'll actually bounce off um, and won't actually collect the loot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.